Hello, my name is Aditya and I love to play Minecraft. I also like to mod it. This is the second video in the second part of the Minecraft tutorial series in which we will learn how to mod the game. Last video I said we were going to start modding, but we didn't really do any. So now let's actually start modding. Let's think about what our first mod is going to be. We can look at the game for some inspiration. So I'm launching the game and I'm going to make a new world. I'm going to call it test. I'm going to make it creative, make it super flat so it's easier to work with. Right now it's building the world. Here I have this new world. I'm thinking we can do something with mobs because I like them. I'm going to do it with creepers because creepers blow up and I like stuff that blows up. And so I'm going to put myself in survival so that the creeper will blow up. Hi creeper. Yeah, blow up now. And he just blew up. You can see his, the explosion he made is kind of small. And we're going to change that because I like blowing up stuff and if it's a small explosion it's kind of boring. Now let's go to Eclipse to make the actual mod. Here is the source code with a bunch of different packages. We don't care about these CPW packages. We want to look at the net.minecraft packages. So since we're looking at creeper, we have to go to net.minecraft.entity.monster because creepers are monsters. And then we have to look at entitycreeper.java. Now to make the creeper explosion bigger, we have to look at the variable explosion radius. And here the radius is three. So the creeper will make a six block diameter explosion. So let's make it around 20 so we can have a really giant explosion. Then we will run the game. So now let's run the game to see what happened. When you run the game, it will automatically save all the files you edited. So now I'm going to move this here and make it bigger again. And then let's go back to that same world. And this is probably going to kill me because I won't have enough time to run away. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to spawn the creeper. And put myself into survival. And you can see the explosion I made was a lot bigger. So it's way gianter because if you compare them, this one's a lot bigger than that one. So that's what happened when we changed the source code. Hooray for you! You just built your first Minecraft modification. So now let's build our second mod. Let's look at witches for this one. So I'm going to get a witch egg out. Let's see what noise they make. They don't really make any noise when you hit them, do they? So let's change that and make it Let's make them moo when they're hurt like cows. So let's go to Eclipse to make that change. I'm going to close Creeper because we're not going to need that. Then I'm going to open Entity Witch. Then I'm going to look at Get Hurt Sound. You can see it's mob.witch.hurt, which is basically nothing because they don't make any noise. So let's change it to mob.cow.hurt which will make it play the sound that cows do when they're hurt. Then let's run the game and try it out. So let's go back to this world and you can see they're moving. Why are you mooing, witch? You're not a cow, are you? So, that's our second mod then. Now let's look at where I got that sound from. So if I go to Eclipse, it's mob.cow.hurt, so I should look at cow because, well, it's the hurt sound of a cow. So I go to Entity Passive, and I open up cow. Then I look at its get hurt sound, 
And you can see it's also mob.cow.hurt, and that's where I got that from. So, if you want the sound from any mob in the game, you can look at their get hurt sound, get living sound, or get death sound, and copy that to wherever you want the sound to be played. Now let's make a third mod. Let's run the game for some ideas. I'm going to go a bit far away from the site of these explosions so we can get a clean area. I think here is good. So now let's look at a new mob. I think pigs are funny, so I'll use pigs. Here are some pigs. And let's look at what they breed with. I take a carrot and I give one to each one of them. They'll breed and they'll make a baby pig. But carrots are kind of boring, and I want to make them breed with something more fun. So let's go to Eclipse and change that. I'm going to look at Entity Pig. Then I'm going to look at... Is... No, not Is Breeding Item. Maybe it is that. Yeah, here it says return item.carrot, which is the item they use. So I'm going to change that. So then what I can do, I can tap press control space here, and it'll tell me everything I can make a breed with. So it's showing me all these different things. Ooh, cake sounds like fun. I think I'll use cake. So I'll double click on cake, and now let's try it out. So, let's spawn two more pigs and get some cake out. Then I'll give one cake to him and one cake to him, and then we get a baby pig. So you can see if I try to do it with carrots, I've got two new pigs, and try it with carrots, they'll only follow me with it, they won't breed with them. So that's our third mod. Now let's make our fourth mod. So if I take a diamond sword or any sword really, and I try to enchant it with knockback, this is a new command, it's slash enchant. So you do slash enchant in your player name, then you have to do the enchantment ID. In this case it's 19 for knockback, and then which level I want it to be. If I try to make it knockback 10, I can't, because the highest level is 2. So I can enchant it to knockback 2. And if I hit this pig here, he'll go that far away because of knockback 2. So now let's change that so we can have higher knockback. Let's go to Eclipse. Now where we're going to want to go is net.minecraft.enchantment. Here it is. Then I want to look at enchantment knockback. And then get max level. Here you can see the maximum level is 2. Let's change that to 10. Then we'll run the game and see what happens. So, if I put this sword away and get a new sword out, I'm going to enchant it with knockback 10. So this, then the enchantment ID, and level 10. You can see I have knocked back 10. When I hit the pig, he goes all the way back there. Die, piggies, go away, go away, I hate you, go away. And then if I let's say go to those horses over there, I can hit those horses away too. Knockback works on pretty much any mob. So I'll just make these horses go away. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, horsies. And you two sheep. It's kind of funny to watch these things fly away. It, it actually is pretty funny. Now let's build the fifth and final mod for this video. This one has to do with villagers. Respawn the villager. That's not the right trade we're looking at. We're looking at a certain set of traits. So you see here, 
he wants you to give him gold, eight gold ingots for one emerald. We're gonna change it so he will take, he will give something else instead of an emerald. For that, let's go to Eclipse. So the class we're going to look at here is we need to go to Entity Villager, which is in net.minecraft.entity.passive. Then we want to look at add merchant item. And you can see here the selling item is an emerald. We're gonna change that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do control space. And I think I'll change it to a gold apple. Because I like apples. And now let's see what happens. The same villager now. Well, this is a this is a old villager, so you see the new villager because the old villagers haven't been changed. For some reason, they don't want to be giving me the right trades. Darn new villagers! You're so annoying. See here, if I give him 34 people, here give me a golden apple. So if I take the paper out and. Will give me a golden apple instead of an emerald, and that's pretty much all for this mod. I think I'll just make these guys fly away. Go away, Bubs! I don't like you. Yeah, that's pretty much all for this mod. So let's summarize what we learned today. We learned how to make specific mods, which what we did were bigger creeper explosions, which is moo when hurt, pigs breed with cake, knockback can go up to level ten and villager currency becomes golden apples instead of emeralds. Thanks for listening, and happy Minecrafting and modding.